Hi, Brad. This is my first ever album donation. Story of the sum is that Joel had no internet and only had a Ghostbusters MIDI, so he made a whole album for fun. Is this right? It's 24 songs? 20 minutes? Apparently it's on Spotify, but there's like an extended version? This right? You need to you call- right? Let me just double check. Make sure that it's right. Yep, it's right. The Ghostbusters, they extract it. There was ghosts in your blood air. What the fuck? on Ghostbuster. I break your door I'm very I sad. It is my home now, but you never find out. Cause I am sneaky, I am the rat man. I go up at night and eat your cheese. Ah! But one day you find out there is a rat man inside the basement and you call the cops, but the cops don't take it seriously. So you call the Ghostbusters instead. Yeah. The Ghostbusters are ill-equipped. They only have ghost-busting weapons, but they should have brought a shotgun. But I have a gun, so I kill them instead. Oh no, it's murder. Ghostbusters. Grandma has died. <sighs> yeah. Hey, please, Ghostbuster. Hey, my grandma has died. She owe me money. Extract soul, please. They tell you, who the fuck is this? You tell them, get my grandma's money now, you dumbass. Ah! The Ghostbusters still come because you still pay them. They take out their guns and get grandma. You tell grandma, get me your money. Ghostbuster get guilty and they leave and you cry. Hi Brad, this is my first album donation ever, by the way. Welcome aboard. Let me be the first to say congratulations. You've recently been hired by the McDonald's restaurant, one of the most successful restaurants in America. If you are watching this video, then it means you're already familiar with the phrase poop. Poop? Yes, poop. Presenting original, unlistenable music. Ah, poop. That's right, Mr. Squarepants. We accept all kinds of new applicants. Take this goofy yellow figure, for example. He originally wanted to be a SoundCloud rapper. Had to move away from people that miserable don't want to lick you I ain't gonna It's literally so many songs, dude. Ghost Buster. 
<sighs> I got food poisoned. That made me angry. So I called the Ghostbuster. Hey, Ghostbuster man. McDonald's have a ghost in the burger. What the fuck? Ow! You tell them, get down to McDonald's and use the gun. It's not the racist. Burger has a ghost. What? This is the last time I go to McDonald's. They put fucking ghost in burger. I will now go see Kentucky Fried Man. Jokes on you, dumbass. The chicken has ghost too. Why the fuck is all their food full of ghosts? I call Health Inspector. No, I call Ghostbuster and I tell them. Destroy the city! Fuck! Gast Bistin. Hey, what's up? Good to see you, Pizza Crest. I was just thinking about you. This is similar to how you make comedy music with Big Baller B. You know, I was really afraid that anybody was thinking that. My worst nightmare, of course, is one day I wake up and I realize that I'm doing the same thing as this. Literally just his voice. He's Swedish? Oh. Damn. <sighs> De lasagna! De lasagna! Was eaten by a ghost! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I called it! The police told me Just don't need to turn on I'm aware But I told them I Thank told them oh, My yeah. girl Sonia was eaten by ghost Ooh. I get scared <sighs> and I do a spicy jerk Ghostbusters Wow I'm losing it. The ghost losing it. Invaded my boot. He's trying to control me. Help. I call the pizza place. Guys, a metal band. What people don't want to hear is uh, Ghostbusters. Ghost. Ghost. People don't want to hear is that the metal band ain't much better. The ghost is they don't want to hear me say that. Ghostbuster. the kid A of awful music. It's not even the worst album I've heard that sounds like this on these streams, like in the last five streams. Not even the worst album by a YouTuber that was made in a short time period that I've heard on stream. Wow. Really? 
really funny. This is Jimmy Harvey. I was At least Jimmy Harvey me. tries, dude. So I go down to the local spaghetti shop. I told him Plus Jimmy Harvey I seems like a sweet guy. Spaghetti. But I told him I don't want regular spaghetti. I want spooky spaghetti. And I told him make it quick. Just how people think of, uh, when they hear he what's entertainment. Ah, it's funny because he said dick, he cock, dick, balls. Order yeah, that song had a lesson, you know? I think that's what makes it good. There's a moral. I, I don't know if this one has a, has a moral. Also, I just realized, have all these songs had lyrics? Wow! Like, on Spotify? Is that real? Yes? I go out on the streets to protest the ghosts in the city. I hold up a sign that says, Ghosts are shitty. And to protest them, I shit my Everybody confused, me too, so I fall asleep. Ladies and gentlemen, Ray Parker Jr. in concert. If there's something strange here in your neighborhood, neighborhood. who you gonna call? Who you gonna call? Was requested this, and this is their first ever album request. Quotes why this definitely this. I wonder why my uh, average rating is lower than most people on album of the year. Dos pastita. Yeah. I need to get milk. I need milk for my cereal. There is no milk in my fucking fridge. So I get pissed. Yeah. This song has nothing to do with Ghostbusters. It's a new milk fridge, white liquid food produced by the mammoth lands of mammals. It is the primary source of nutrition for infant mammals, including humans, who are best before they are able to digest other types of food. Early lactation. Oh, that's the most interesting. Milk is good oh. for your body. You see me. It makes your skeleton strong and healthy. Oh no, the skeleton coming out! Ah! I live. You know, I really hope that underneath the albums that are like this segment on this uh, album of the year page for this, this, this Family Guy original soundtrack, you know. Who you gonna call? The Nut Booster. The what? What do you- little old man, slipping in your bed. He nutted in the bed, the ghost nutted, and now it's time for you to nut to this song. <laughs> Wow, that was really funny. I call the Ghostbusters on the telephone. I tell them there is a problem. They tell me, what is it now? I tell them that my toilet is clogged. Oh, another toilet song. They tell me, why are you calling me? 
Mother of God, it's all toilet sounds. There is a tomato ectoplasm in the toilet pipes. They say... What makes it, uh, this album bad instead of funny bad? That is a fantastic question. Um, in my opinion, first of all, I'm not even a huge Ghostbusters fan, but even if I was, the only thing tying this to Ghostbusters is, oh, there's a ghost. I go poop, poop, pee, pee. He grab, he grab phone, toilet. Oh, poop, 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 pee, pee. It's not funny to me. It's really infantile. There's nothing clever to it. It's it, it it just feels like there was no care, thought, or effort put in. So it's just uncomfortable and awkward. We will shop the PK meter in your like this shit. I it's say, like, okay. like it's just not How much will that cost? funny or clever. Life hasn't been the same since Grandma passed away last year. There's only one way to bring her back. We'll do it. No matter what. What's this ad about? Re resurrection? Hello. Hello? My name is Ghost Johnson. Oh, hello, how are you? I play drums so good oh? that I bring back the dead. Really? Oh, what's that? You want Grandma back? Yes. Well, let me do a drum solo to bring it back. Yeah! Wow. It's, it's working! It's working! Miss Grandma, come back to life! Oh, oh my god, she doesn't have any skin! No refunds! Wow, that was so funny. Ghostbusters is the name of this next song, of course. I poisoned the water supply. Now everyone dead. Wonderful. Oops. What a, what a great story. How much does it cost for me to skip this album? It's a good question. You guys ever seen the book by Dr. Seuss about the... What is it? The... Sneeds or whatever? Where like, they have stars. And the ones with stars are like all cool and shit. So a guy shows up with a star machine. But then what happened is... Then everyone has stars, so the ones with stars get rid of them. And they just keep going through that machine, and the guy keeps getting rich from it. That's me. No, it's not the Lorax, dumbass. You're thinking Sneeds. I'm talking Sneeds. Oh, Sneeches. Oh, Star Belly Sneeches, not Sneeds. I almost was there. All right, let me sh let me show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the picture I'm looking for. All right. So let me show you. This this is me. Okay, right there. That's me. And these two lines. That's you. Okay. So they. They do a big loop. They go in one machine to get stars. They go in the other machine to get rid of the stars. And they keep going forever. And then that's me. All right? <laughs> yeah, you can see the loop here a bit better. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is the full loop. So it's the Lorex. No, dumbass. Oh, whatever. Anyways. 
We are on song 18 out of 24. I can't believe they released an extended deluxe of this. Literally swans, okay? Ray Parker Jr., please don't sue me. Alright, best song so far. It was literally swans. Probably the first genuine laugh it got out of me. Oh, and it's back to, uh... Hey, look how stupid I am. Hey, I do I'm funny and stupid. But now they are no longer busting ghosts. They are now doing... Well, at least one of us is laughing. All right. And the stuff is strange. Brad, when is this over? Watch the fuck out. Very it's soon, me. guys. Bust ghost. Yahoo! I'm telling you guys, it's a good thing the queue is short today. It was a movie in 1986. It was so exciting. But you know what else is really exciting? The sound being over. Needs to end already. Bye. Did it? There's still what? There's still three songs. Okay, this one's actually funny. Wow. Okay. It's a comedy album done right. An album that isn't called a comedy album, but it still makes you laugh. I'd say, um, oh, Hood Guy. Hood Guy has some good albums. Hood Guy. Like, I'll show you. It's not even like he's spending, like, a ridiculously high amount of effort in comparison to this. But he's putting the effort in the right places. All right? Let me show you. I find this very funny. Not that. I think it's here, right? The song is called 
Run my no no it's sad songs yeah. opinion this works because stylistically it has a vision um and i feel like there's moments where it's exaggerated moments where it's pulled back um but for me at least i find it funny because like it is explicitly ass but also a shade familiar of what it is parodying um and i appreciate that and that's why i got because i got high by afro man that is a pretty funny song yeah I didn't feel it. Nope. Oh, you guys are wrong. Oh, it's okay. I'll just play more Ghostbusters. Even though, actually, this song is surprisingly competent and interesting. Hello, are you having a funeral next week? Birthday? Whatever the case, call me and I'll spice things up. I will entertain with my guitar and I'll do funny tricks. Call me, low prices, Joel at fuckyourself.com. Bye. Really great. Nice. That's a, it's funny because he said the word fuck. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I play Donald Obama? Of course. Donald Obama is a great example. You know? Jackass, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, dumbass. Hey, it's something important. I bet it's something important. Go, go pick up the phone. Go, go on. Go on, pick up the phone. Do it. Like the joke is poo poo pee pee, you know? Like, that's it. Final Come song. Alright, I wanna sing the song. Oh, Come and on. they tell you what the joke is. It's Come never on. gonna start. That's gonna be the whole joke. Piece of shit. Come on. I love when jokes are just telegraphed so that you know exactly what to expect. So it's like the joke, there's no point. Broken. Oh. Melting. What a shame. What a fucking shame. So many pictures per sec. No, no deluxe edition. Okay, anyways. Um Donald Obama. Okay, now Donald Obama. Let me tell you. So, Dion in general is an album that I gave a 5 out of 10 to. I don't think it's great. But this updated version is better, alright? It got rid of a lot of the tracks that sucked. Uh, but the thing is, is Dion, I assume that everything here is freestyled. There was a beat and a concept for each of these songs. An idea going into them where there was enough information and then it was basically figuring it out from there. And you can kind of tell with these tracks. The beats sound stock. The bars subpar. But it comes together. It's an interesting listen. Hence, Donald Obama. Donald Obama. Hey. Donald Obama. 
I'm a bomber. I like your song. Cause yes, I like your song. Say it. I'm a bomb. I blast my bomb. Cause that's a good tune. I will listen to it too. Eat tuna fish. Eat a tuna sandwich. Motherfucker, I'll leave your body parts and make you a sandwich. I will, just like the government, you will give me your money. This ain't funny. And I'll steal your hunk. And I have a threesome with Michelle. Bitch, go to hell. Motherfucker, I'll suck your dick. Yeah. I, for, I'm present for a long time. What are you yeah, yeah. Like it's still cringe, it's still awkward, but it's charming. Donald Obama. Donald Obama. Donald Obama. My name is Chubb, and my dick is huge. My business is huge. If I was to grab you, I'd be grabbing a lot of pussies. Everyone knows I get all the cookies. I don't like Biden. Point being is this song is so explicitly unfunny and unprepared um, that I feel like it goes full circle and is iconic and interesting to see where it goes next. Again, due to the fact that I think these songs in concept, fucking Donald Obama, like I would imagine that all they knew going into it, probably someone said, song's called Donald Obama, here's the beat, go, do something. And then they had to quickly come up with something. It's a lot better than Ghostbusters plays. Here's 20 songs about poo and pee, uh, which is why for this Ghostbusters album, uh, I am feeling a one plus. And the points that I give this album for are for the couple of metal moments that I think are genuinely interesting. Uh, the Metallica thing caught me by surprise, which I really liked. And the uh, song near the end that was actually a skillfully put together a metal version of the Ghostbusters theme, which I thought was pretty fun having by the end. So, yeah. Oh, it's why most of these... Which of these is most offensive? Pitbull Harlem Shake, 303 Careless Whisper, or Drake Pop Champagne? I've got all of them. Wow. Definitely 303 Careless Whisper or Drake Pop Champagne. If you told me that this was actually an abstract art project on uh, on the meaning of the joke, I'd be inclined to believe that with how hard it stretches the definition of comedy. Are you talking about this album or the Ghostbusters one? Because I think you're talking about Dion. Maybe one day I'll send in Joel's attention. Yeah. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Anyways, Yo, yes. That album this. was... Um, Yo, I cannot believe this. It's just... I ass. Just... All right. With that being said, though, I'm now going to take a break as uh, I am in deep pain after that. <laughs> 